Hi, this is uh, Jayhawk Scott again. Um, I thought I'd make a little video of my uh, probe holders that I'm planning on using in my uh, water chain system. I plan to build an automatic water chain system and I want to make sure that the water that I'm bringing in to my tank is uh, similar to the what, what's running in the tank as far as pH and temperature and, and salinity goes. So I've got three probes here for my apex. I've got my temperature probe here. I've got my pH probe and my conductivity probe. So my plan is to simply kind of build like a stand that will sit in the bottom of the water change tub. And I'm going to mount uh, the, uh, <coughs> um, the, the probes in there. Uh, in addition to this, I also have a float switch that I'm going to put in here, and I'll show you that in a later video. But what I did is I bought these little probe holders on eBay. They were pretty cheap. They were like a two bucks a piece or so. And um, these will just screw right into um, the PVC uh, T-fittings. Um, I trimmed down some of them. You can see the difference here between the ones that I, I cut up and the ones that are, are the standard size. I don't want this thing to be too long to be able to fit in the bottom of the tub, so I've trimmed them down so that the probes will actually be a lot closer together. But I've got, in addition to the three probes, I've also got, like I said, I put that float switch in there. And then I'm also going to do a T-fitting with um, my mix pump in, in the tub to make sure that the um, the probe holders don't get flipped over or something like that with from the flow from all the mixing and stuff that that takes place so um, I'll show you that later but right now I just thought I'd started um, the first part of this video showing you uh, the three probes and my basic plan for this thing and you'll kind of see it as it as it goes together okay uh, you can see now kind of what I've done I've got the three probes in there um, one of the things that with the apex uh, temperature probe you've got to be uh, cognizant of is the fact that the the end of it where the uh, the temperature the bottom and the end opposite the cord is kind of fat and it will not go through the uh, the head unit or the cap of the probe holder here so you have to Make sure that you, you think about that when you're putting this thing together and you have to run the cords up through the cap and then pull the probe up into it, unlike the, the pH and the, the conductivity probe. I've got the, con the conductivity probe is a little longer. This is the conductivity probe here. It's longer than the pH probe in the middle. And I just the idea was just to have all these probes uh, kind of protected on the caps and just to have them at the same level. So... Uh, I have it sticking up a little bit higher than the pH probe, but they all sit right here. I glued all this together, and then I just drilled out the bottom of these so that they uh, should get uh, you know plenty of flow across them, and so that they shouldn't have any problems reading the um, getting the all their readings. So that's kind of what I've got so far. Uh, the next step for me is to uh, put on. Uh, the uh, float switch sorry brain fart uh, the float switch and then I'm gonna start putting together the legs and stuff of this thing so I'll be back with the float switch and I'll show you what I'm doing there okay I've uh, sort of pieced this thing together and and you're probably gonna look at this thing and say what in the hell is he doing and it's kinda hard it's kind of hard to visualize without having a little bit more uh, understanding of, of what, what I'm trying to do here. This side is going to come down to a T-fitting and essentially going to be a foot, just like the other side will. This thing that looks like a, something that goes under a sink is actually designed for my uh, foot switch. It will fit right in there and then... Um, and the reason I, I put it like that was I needed to, because I only want to have, I want the float switch to trigger at 7 gallons. 
um, the, this thing was going to stand too high if I put the float switch just on the top. Uh, it would have been probably around 12, 13 gallons, and so I needed to come down and back up again. So now this T fitting here, or not T, this cross, what it's designed for is I've got as part of my mixing station, um, I've got a three quarter inch piece of PVC that comes down from the top and and the water returns back to the bottom of the the tub and I'm going to run that three quarter inch PVC piece of PVC through that cross right there and that will prevent the entire uh, apparatus from flipping over so maybe that makes a little more sense so I'll start putting the feet on this thing and I think it'll it'll start to, to come together and, and uh, you'll see kind of the method to the madness here okay so here's the the finished product and you can start to see maybe a little bit more how it works uh, like I said I'll have this piece of three-quarter inch PVC that will come down in through here and it just sit like that and it'll prevent it from flipping over that's all that does um, and you can see the feet on here on both sides uh, provide some more stability for it on this the sink plumbing thing on the back side of it is is the uh, the float switch and you can see right here here's the float switch it just sits in there I didn't glue that one in that just drops in there and then and that's it I've drilled a bunch of holes you can see in the end these end caps that I put down here I had to put the end caps on the PVC because otherwise it wouldn't it wouldn't balance um, so but overall I'm really pretty happy with it it's not the the prettiest thing in the world but for my purposes I think it's gonna work really well and then I'll just uh, um, quick zip the all the cables together and uh, run them out the top of the the tub one of the things that I was told by Neptune systems is that with conductivity probes you need to try to keep the the wire the lead wire away from um, power cables so like uh, the, the pumps and all that stuff all those lines go out a different hole uh, on the top of the um, the mixing container so that that I don't run it next to a power line so but uh, uh, I'll put this thing in the uh, in the tub and then I'll take a, a little another little video of that so you can kind of see how it how it works and and uh, but I'm pretty happy with it okay so here is the final um, video here in my on my uh, homemade probe maker um, as you can see here is uh, the return line from my mixing pump it goes down through that one inch cross and, and it comes out the bottom so that prevents the, the whole apparatus from from falling over uh, due to flow in the in the, in the t uh, mixing container uh, as you go across the next thing you come across is the uh, the float valve which I've got angled over and, and uh, to the first probe uh, I'm gonna zip tie all these probes and, and these things together to clean it up a little bit but then you come to the conductivity probe, then the pH probe, and then the temperature probe. Um, all the feet are drilled, so the thing shouldn't have any problems as far as floating goes. I may, I don't know, I may end up having to drill a hole a little bit on the top just to make sure that this thing doesn't have a tendency to float. But um, other than that, I'm, I'm really pretty happy with it. It's not the, the prettiest thing in the world, but... I think for functionality purposes, I think it will work really, really well for me. So um, I just want to say thanks again to all all my new subscribers. I know I've got a got some more new subscribers. I uh, hope that uh, you find my my videos, if not educational, uh, at least worth a laugh. Uh, I know I'm doing some things that are kind of crazy, but uh, I just uh, if you have any questions or comments, please please uh, rate and subscribe and and uh, leave all your comments, and, and I'm always curious to hear what other people have to say. Um, but uh, I think that's it for my little homemade probe holder. So, thanks.